May 24, 1995, along Cotton Hall Road in Yemisee, the body of a woman was found in a ditch, wearing nothing but a pair of panties. An autopsy revealed the woman had been dead for a day or two. The cause of death, strangulation. Investigators knew Cotton Hall Road wasn't where she was murdered, but dumped to likely never be found. With little evidence, the unidentified woman's photo, taken during an autopsy, was distributed in hopes of learning her name. The case quickly grew cold. Several years later, Sheriff P.J. Tanner tasks an investigator, Bob Bromich, with looking into the agency's cold cases. This case uh, clearly was very important to us to identify her. So we, we tried numerous, numerous just outside the box ideas and you know, using international media, uh, national, local media looking through databases of, of missing persons, but we never found her. As technology advanced, the unidentified woman's DNA was entered into various databases with the hopes of a match. In 2020, it was sent to Parabon Nanolabs, a company leveraging the power of DNA forensics and genetic genealogy. Parabon had some success nationally when the Golden State Killer was caught through genealogy research. That was incredible. It's another tool, and it's another newer technology, and we decided to give it a shot. October 2022, a match. The match was better than 99%. She was identified as Maria Tellis Gonzalez. She was 36 years old, a mother of three, a wife. She had disappeared from her Kissimmee, Florida home in May of 1995, but never reported missing. Investigators traveled to Florida, interviewing Maria's husband, children, and family members. During the interviews, it was learned that Maria had returned from Puerto Rico from visiting her family on a night before she disappeared. She came back with a suitcase, stayed the night at the family home, was present in the home with the husband when the children went to school. All three children went to school that day. The mother was there, the father was there. They returned from school, she was gone in the suitcase. Her vehicle was still there. It's clear that she was not murdered in Beaufort County and probably occurred in Florida. Investigators also learned of two people close to Maria at the time of her disappearance. Her best friend, whose name may be Patty or Patricia, and a man Maria had been having an affair with. Investigators want to speak to them and need help identifying and locating them. You're almost shocked, you know, it's disbelief because we're talking about decades of, you know, promising leads that just turn into nothing, you know? We contacted Interpol. I mean, I would have never thought I'd have anything to do with Interpol, right? Contacted Interpol. They, they issued a black notice, which is an unidentified remains, to all these cooperating countries throughout the world. So things like that, they, you know, you, you find hope, and it's like, okay, we're almost there, and then nothing. The woman who remained unidentified for nearly 30 years now has a name. Maria Tellis Gonzalez, never reported missing, and left on a rural county road to never be found. The big question is now what we're looking for answers to. Who murdered Maria? And we look to bring that person to justice.